Good morning everybody, welcome to Praise and Play and we're going to start off with Our God is a Great Big God so please join in with the actions. songs the wiggle song so let's get ready to wiggle Wiggle, wiggle. 
now it's time to do some climbing together. So let's play If I Go Climbing. Let's get our climbing hands ready. Let's go climbing up a huge mountain. If I go to get ready to all clap together. Our story today is a really important story from the Bible. It's about a time when Mary and Joseph took baby Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem and they met some very important people. And I'm going to need your help like I always do. So remember to look out for the times when I need your help. Should we start? Let's, let's start. Mary and Joseph wrapped baby Jesus up very warm. Shall we pretend to be wrapping the baby really warmly? That's it. Well done. And they held him in their arms. Mary held him in her arms. And they set out for the temple. Shall we pretend to be walking? 
with baby Jesus and being very careful not to wake him up. Well done. They were taking Jesus to the temple, which is a bit like a big church in Jerusalem. Now, there was a man called Simeon who was in Jerusalem and he had been waiting for a long time. He'd been praying to God. Shall we pretend to pray? That's it. Simeon had been praying for a long time that very soon he would finally see God's special son. And that day, Simeon was sure that Jesus wanted him to go to the temple. And when he got there, he had a look around. Should we pretend we're having a look around? That's it. And he saw Mary and Joseph with baby Jesus. And he said to Mary, may I please hold your baby? So Mary let Simeon hold baby Jesus. Should we pretend to be holding baby Jesus again? That's it. And he held baby Jesus. And then he said, thank you, God. Now I can die happy because you have kept your promise that I would see your special son before I died. Mary and Joseph were amazed. Should we pretend to be amazed? <gasps> what incredible things this man, Simeon, was saying about their little boy. Then an old lady walked towards them. She was very old. Should we pretend to be very old and walking? Maybe we might need to hold our backs a bit. You, d you have to pretend. I, I don't have to pretend, but you do. OK, now this lady was called Anna. And Anna stayed in the temple all the time, praising God and praying. Should we pretend to pray again? Well done. When she saw Jesus, she would pretend to be looking. And when she saw Jesus, she said, God has kept his promise. Praise the Lord. Anna went out. She rushed out into the, into the street. Should we pretend to rush? That's it as quickly as you can when you're really old. And she told all her friends about the very special baby called Jesus. As Mary and Joseph set off, holding the baby Jesus, let's hold the baby Jesus, they thought about all the puzzling and exciting things they'd heard at the temple. They knew that their baby was very special. That was a very special story in the Bible. Simeon had been waiting for a long, long time to see the baby son, the son of God that God had promised him he would see before he died. It must have been a very special day when Simeon saw baby Jesus. And every year the church remembers that time. And on Sunday, we'll be remembering when Simeon and Anna saw baby Jesus. And we call that day Candle Mass. We call it Candle Mass because that was the day in the church's year when all of the candles were blessed for the following year. So Sunday is Candle Mass Day when we remember how Simeon and Anna saw baby Jesus in the temple. Should we say some prayers? Remember, we say, Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that you kept your promise to Simeon and that he was able to see the baby Jesus in the temple. Thank you, God, that Anna was there too, to see Jesus and to go out into the streets and to tell other people about the wonderful thing that God had done. Thank you, God, that you always keep your promises. No matter how long it takes, you always keep your promise. Thank you, God, for our friends and our families. Thank you, God, that you share your love with us. Thank you, God, that you let us share our love with you and with the people that we love. Amen. Some of you may have this from the website and it does say the Sunday that's coming now is Candlemas and that's when we remember Mary and Joseph taking baby Jesus to the temple where they met two special people called Anna and Simeon. This Sunday is called the Festival of Candlemas because this used to be the day when all the church candles for the year were blessed and on Candlemas night 
many people would put candles in their windows at home. And it says, today we remember that Jesus is the light of the world. Decorate the candles to remind you. So you might like to decorate your candles. You could colour them all sorts of colours, couldn't you? And the flames could be red or orange or yellow or a little bit of all of those colours. And then you could keep that and remember Simeon and Anna and remember that Jesus is the light of the world. It's been good to spend some time with you this week. You look after yourselves and we hope to see you again very soon. Bye. It's time for our birthday slot now. Um, I'm going to sing happy birthday. Um, I'm going to sing happy birthday everyone. But if you've had a birthday in the last few weeks or you've got a birthday coming up, then perhaps your family can sing your name or you can say the name of somebody else that you know that's got a birthday in the next week or so. So let's get ready to sing happy birthday. I'm going to light the candle. sing happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear everyone happy birthday to you now let's get ready to blow out the candle blow it out with me and let's give everyone a great big clap happy birthday Thank you for joining me for Praise and Play today and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye everyone.